Good morning and welcome to the encouraging Keystone devotion. I am thankful that you are ready to go this morning, uh, Monday morning. Um, it is moving closer to Easter. Isn't this incredible? We're going to be able to have an incredible Easter. And uh, I just I, I want to invite you out to our Easter service. If you're not a part of Keystone Church, um, I encourage you to come out. We're going to celebrate like we've got two years worth of celebration because they took Easter from us last year. And now things tend to be tr uh, trending in the better direction. And so uh, we're just going to we're going to make it a passionate, passionate, exciting day uh, at Keystone Church. That's April 4th, and you can start looking forward to that. But that's not what this morning's about. This morning is about looking into God's Word, spending time together. It's about conversation. And i got to admit, there hasn't been a whole lot of conversation. Man, I say it every single time, and I want to keep pushing. It'd be great if you'd make comments below and join in the discussion or start the discussion. Not controversial comments, but maybe even encouraging comments. Maybe for this one, you can let the people that fit into the category that we're going to be talking about maybe know that you appreciate them. That'd be a good comment. Anything to just get you to comment something encouraging down below would be great, but that's beside the point. You'll comment if you want to. I'm in Psalms, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at a, a, a part of a psalm. It's not what the psalm's about, but there is other places. But uh, it is, um, this, okay, there's two types of people. There are the uh, musical people, and there are the not musical people. I'm one of the people that I spent, I, I, some people may not know this, but I, I played guitar for seven or eight years. Uh, it was a struggle for me. Um, and the reason that it was a struggle for me is because I'm not naturally gifted with music, but I am very much appreciative of all music and art forms of that way of expressing things and the way it comes together. And people that can naturally do that um, is is something that I uh, I can I can be stirred by. Uh, and I can be encouraged by, but I got to be honest with you, I don't share in those talents. And that frustrates me. As you know, my wife is the most amazing singer in the world. And uh, that is what drew me in and what made me uh, pray that selfish prayer, asking God that just give me the chance to marry her because um, it's, it's incredible. And I love to see that sort of talent on display. But then also music people are different. Are they not? You ever been around a musician? They're a little bit different. A little bit, um, how do you say, weird sometimes? Sorry, don't tune out. Hold tight. There, there's a point to all of this. They express themselves different. They're wired different. And, and that's what makes a good musician. There are very few times that you'll find uh, good musicians that aren't a little bit strange in the way that they express themselves because of the fact that that's the way that they were created to be. And it's, it's, it's different only because it's different than the way that maybe I was created to be. Not different as in totally different off the wall or anything like that, although sometimes we, we play with those categories. But it's, it's important that we pay attention to that because there are some things that um, are expressed in ways that are important. Music is one of them. There's a, there is an emotional expression, a, a way of communicating, a way of, of painting, a way of making a picture be seen that happens in music, that happens in art, and it happens in a lot of other forms, but it's, it's, it's unique in music. And the Bible ends with the story of songs in heaven, and it, it, it has this musical idea and this singing throughout it. And Psalms is an expression of poetic um, expression with most of the time put to music, and it, it highlights this idea. In Psalm 33, it says, Shout for joy in the Lord, O you righteous, praise befits the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre. Make melody to him with the harp of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. If you are a non-musical person um, or um, a person that is not gifted in that, that sense, maybe we should say, uh, that probably lands in a place that doesn't amount to that much. But if you are the type of person that understands uh, your abilities and your 
way of expressing that can flow from music and how you can get lost in the notes and in the expression and the flow of things and the emotions and, and all of that, that lands in a place that really makes sense. To me, it sounds like uh, verse 3, sing to him a new song, play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts, is a beautiful expression of this new formulation. And, and I think in the album, since I know he's not talking about this, but an artist that has worked for months on these new songs and is delivering these new songs to the world, and it is a project. And, and you've heard musicians talk about this, right? The way they talk about it, it's, it's really, really strange. It's almost like they're giving of themselves uh, to the entire world. It's this dip into their diary, maybe, that, that nobody else gets to see. And I, I kind of get that picture here. And then he goes on and he says, play skillfully on the strings with loud shouts. That sounds like a um, that sounds like a uh, a guitar solo and an outbreak in a song, right? And there's other places in the Bible that talk about with the clashing of cymbals and and loudly with instruments and and all of this. And, and in the 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 collection of God's people, there were these people that were set aside as the band that was to lead the march of war and all these other things. Music is used in a lot of different ways. And I got to be honest with you, um, as we continue to hang on to that part of our service where we, uh, on Sundays, worship with music. It's something that I think beautifully goes together with this and is important. There's people that express themselves and that, that, that lead in worship maybe different than other people do, and we should appreciate that, even the people that aren't necessarily musical, because we can appreciate how we find that in other music, maybe, but man, isn't this isn't this a great picture? It goes along with what we looked at last week. This idea of people that are wired and gifted different expressing themselves and then other people observing that and then realizing that when it's used for the glory of the Lord, it's a beautiful, incredible thing. So maybe today you should thank a musician. I don't know. Is that a thing? Let them know that you appreciate how they do what they do. Or take the moment to think about how you may not like the style of expression or what they're doing, but you really appreciate the fact that they are using that for the Lord. Isn't that incredible? In our church, I think it's awesome to see the young people that we have, the teenagers that get up on stage and do the things that a lot of them aren't comfortable with doing because they haven't fully learned or developed in those areas of music like we're putting them through here, but they're expressing that in a way that is incredible, and we should encourage those people. So, musicians, thank you for what you do, for the time that you put into to create the expressions that you create that I take for granted when I'm sitting there and listening to it, not realizing what is going on inside of you or how you are creating what you're creating. So thank you so much. And thank you, God, that you gave us this incredible way of doing this. Let's pray. God, thank you for worship. Thank you for music. And thank you for how those two things come together, for expression that is centered on your word and found in your word, but is different than maybe we're used to. Thank you that you show us the value of music and what it accomplishes. And God, I pray that we learn how to appreciate different expressions of who you are in the way that guides us right back to the what your Bible teaches us. We love you and it's your name we pray. Amen.